Chapter 3 Creating a New Project To create the framework of a new project quickly directly from your Mission Control Console, follow these simple steps. Firstly, enter a project name. Next, enter the name of your first milestone for the project. You can add more milestones by clicking the Add Row button. As you can see, in this example, I'm creating a website build project with four milestones for the design, build, testing and publishing phases of the project. I can easily remove a milestone by clicking the Remove button here on the right hand side of the milestone name. What I'm also able to do is clone an existing project framework, which we'll take a closer look at in a minute. Once we've added our project name and associated milestones, we can click the Create Project button. This directs us to the project detail page. Now we can start to add the detail to our project. We can choose a status for our project. We are also able to select a standard or role based rate for our project. The standard day rate is used where you want to apply a flat day rate to the project. The role based rate references the hourly rate of each action owner. We'll take a more detailed look at project roles in a chapter later on in this demonstration. You can also apply a colour to this specific project as well. This colour will be applied to the sticky notes on the interactive whiteboard. The whiteboard is another cool feature of Mission Control that we'll look at in more detail later on. You are also able to archive projects if required by checking a box on the project edit screen. You can also check a box which identifies this entire project as non-billable. This is useful for keeping track of internal projects. On the right hand side of the page we are able to assign a project owner using the lookup field. This lookup field references the project role custom object which allows us to reference internal Salesforce users or even Salesforce contacts. These contacts could be external suppliers or maybe even a design agency who is leading the project. As you can see we can also relate the project to a specific Salesforce.com account and contact which in my example may be the client's contact and account record. Likewise we can also relate the project to an opportunity. In my example I'm going to relate this project to an opportunity that I created during the prospecting stage for this client. Once I have entered all the relevant details, I can hit the Save button to save the changes to my project. 